Hi friends, Robin here with Metman and Robin and I just finished my shift volunteering at the processing center and I thought that I would show you guys around a little bit so that you might know what to expect if you come to volunteer at the processing center. I am um, volunteering at the one in Dallas, Fort Worth. Um, and so as you can tell right there, this is kind of the break area. There are restrooms right here and a water fountain. They also have microwaves here if you want to bring your lunch. Um, there are vending machines with snacks and drinks. Um, and they do take card or cash. And then over here, this is the gear store. And I, um, I did get a Christmas ornament to put on our Christmas tree. Also at lunchtime, it's past lunchtime, it's two o'clock now, but Chick-fil-A does come and you can purchase sandwiches. Um, you can either purchase a spicy or a regular sandwich or and a bag of chips. I think they also had some salads and some uh, chicken wraps. And then let's take a little walk and I will show you what is over here. Um, right here is the prayer section behind me. And these are the things that we can pray for. They have a prayer wall here with photos. Um, and then right here and over there, I love that they have Kleenexes if you need, are photos where you can actually pray. Um, and then put your photo on the prayer wall. So at any time you can come over here and take a break and pray if you want to. Um, so here's just one of the photos that I picked up and this is a volunteer. Um, and then there it's, it's blank on the back. They have some pens and pencils. You can write your prayers and then they go up on this wall right here. Also, um, if you have a private prayer request, you can, let me see if I can get it. There it is. You can write it um, on this and drop it in here. And they have prayer warriors praying throughout the day. Um, I thought I would show you this mural. It's pretty cool. It just explains the process. It starts with packing, which hopefully we're all doing at home. Then collecting, which usually happens at your local church. Here is the distribution center, which is where I am right now in that little warehouse. And then it gets shipped overseas and then it's worldwide distribution sorry um then it goes to outreach i'm really bad at this okay outreach events and discipleship so this is the um rest area over here see there's tables and restrooms and then over here, this is where you can like set your, your bags that you bring or your lunch boxes. And they even provide, there's like some water bottles over here and here. I will say um, they have a lot of air flowing through here, but it is really, really warm and you're moving so much and um, you can get overheated pretty quick. So bring water with you, stay hydrated, um, prepare. A really cool thing that I've seen is some people even bring um, a mat with them like the kind that you sit in front of your kitchen sink and it's padded so when you're doing dishes your feet don't hurt so several people bring those with them when they're actually um, packing then here is the section where you can sign up to volunteer year-round um, if you look back here see way in the back all of this that is their year-round supply. So these are like big giant gallons of water and it's stuff for disaster relief, which I think is really, really cool. Um, let's see what's going on behind me. There is the beautiful Christmas tree and they have decorated it with boxes. Also, that is all of the volunteers. It is about two o'clock on a Tuesday. And um, let me just see if I can show you guys a little bit of how this works. 
Um, I don't know this team, so I'm gonna stand kind of far away so I don't disturb them while they work. But here, this is where, hi! <laughs> this is where the boxes come in and she's gonna take it out. Hi! Hi! <laughs> and then, um, <laughs> we have a lot of fun. Then she's inspecting it to see if there's anything that needs to come out. I saw a lot of glue today. I saw a lot of body wash. Um, I saw a lot of military items and those are the things that came out. Once the items have been processed, she sets the box up here. And the next sweet volunteer, this lady here, she tapes up the boxes to secure them. And then the next step is we have a scanner, the lady with the lanyard. She's going to scan the boxes that come in right here and put them in the coordinating cartons. And then that carton, once it's full, we yell full box and the whole place goes crazy. And we set it on this conveyor belt and it slides all the way down there and gets put on a truck. Another really cool um, area of, to volunteer is this section back here. So a lot of these sweet volunteers can't stand on their feet for very long and that is okay because they are preparing fillers and boy do we need fillers. Um, it's true what you hear, there was no paper. Everybody was looking for paper and pencils and crayons and stuffies. Those are the main needed fillers for sure. But these ladies are processing the boxes of fillers that come in and then they are going um, to each individual processing center. I was at center 20. These ladies are at uh, 14 here. Um, another really cool area to volunteer is here in the middle. Um, so this is way down the aisle, but this is where the, the big containers, see? They just filled a box. <laughs> so this is where the containers come in and they put them on the box, this shipping line to be to start the process. There is also um, closer to the middle, it's, I can't get down there, but there is um, a shoebox hospital. These centers here, if a box is broken, um, they send it to the hospital and it gets a new box and it goes back to its little center and goes on its way. So um, that was the processing center here in Dallas, Fort Worth on Tuesday, November 30th, I believe. Um, another really cool thing they do is every hour or so, uh, maybe two hours, they show us a video up here. It's a different video every time. And we stop and we pray over the boxes. So I had a really great time. I will be back here on Thursday. And I think I'm gonna scrounge up all of the paper I can find in my house and bring it because we needed paper and pencils almost every box needed them so anyway it was so great such a blessing ah uh, thanks for watching and in case no one has told you love you lots <laughs>